Hi, this is Shashank Mishra, Data Engineer 3 at Expedia. And in today's video, I'll walk you through the state of data engineering in India. So data engineering has become the fastest growing job profile after 2020. And in the recent time, majority of people are showing their interest to move into this job profile. But you should also understand that why this job profile is getting so much popularity and you need to understand what actually data engineers are doing in the company. So nowadays we all know the companies are heavily dependent on data driven business decisions and in order to take those kind of decisions they need to process the data and in the world of internet we know how fastly this data is growing every day we are processing terabytes petabytes of data from different sources different real-time devices, batch type of data, each kind of data processing we are doing. And based on those historical stats, these companies are trying to get some meaningful insights and able to compete with their competitors in the market. And that is the main crucial part where data engineers play a critical role. So I always call data engineers as a frontliner in the company. Doesn't matter whatever company it is, if they are working in a big data related solution, data engineers will always be there because they are the frontliners. Their job responsibility is to create the scalable data pipelines. So what does this scalable data pipeline means? You as a data engineer is creating a mechanism which is scalable to pull data from different sources. It can be anything, any type of data, structured, semi-structured, unstructured and you will be having some business logics in place and those will be directly coming from your leaders, your stakeholders and customer that we need to aggregate this data in this fashion. That's how we will be able to get meaningful insights of it. So this is the transformation part. And once that is available, you are dumping that data into the downstream system, which is the actual thing or actual result your company wanted from your side. And Whatever profiles you have heard so far, data scientists, analysts, BI engineers, whosoever it is, they are dependent on the responsibilities of data engineers. If they don't have the transform data available with them, they cannot represent data, they cannot create dashboards, they cannot create uh, like machine learning models or anything which is related to complex data mysteries, they cannot solve it. So data engineers are the one who will having those kind of skill sets. They will be good at programming. They will be good at the software engineering skills. And they are the one who can create those complex engineering system, which is processing the data on scale. For most of the multinational IT companies, India alone is their first priority to find the talented working professional. And that is the reason in last four or five years, state of data engineering in India has improved a lot. And before I start with interesting stats, make sure you like the video. And if you're new to our channel, then hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon. And if you have any query related to data engineering, put it in the comment section and we will answer it. So these stats can be divided in four segments. First is market. Second is salary. Third is jobs. And fourth is key skills. So first, let's look at the market conditions for data engineering. So the size of data engineering market in India is 18.2 billion US dollars in 2022. This is predicted to grow at a rate of 36.7% in the next five years to reach 86.9 billion US dollars by 2027. The number of open jobs for data engineers is 1.8 times higher than for data scientists. Why job openings for data engineers are higher than data scientists? Let's understand it with a simple example. So let's say there are 10, 15 companies who are working on big data solutions. So it's not necessary that every company is trying to solve complex data mysteries. For an example, forecasting related use cases, predictive models, and anything which is very complex in terms of data science. Because there can be a simple use case where you need to bring data from different sources and apply some transformation. And the companies are trying to visualize that data, like get some insights from the historical data so that they can compare their growths from the last quarter, what was the revenue, what was the decrease in the revenue and the sales part. These are very basic stats. And there is no complex data analysis is required here. There is 
nothing which is dedicated towards the data science profile. So even if that company hires a data engineer who is actually responsible for these kind of job activities, pulling data from different sources, doing the ETL kind of stuff, that would be good enough. And that's why in modern data world, the openings for the data engineers are much higher than any other data related job profile. So banking sector has employed the highest share of data engineers at 37.7% among all non-IT sectors. So we know about different different sectors like banking, healthcare, telecom, aviation. So all these sectors together are heavily dependent on the data. But the sector which is extensively using this data part that is banking and why so it is actually related to the monetary part every minute every second there are billions of transactions are happening across the globe so in order to handle that much of a scale of data definitely you need some mechanism in between so that you can analyze this data so for these banking organizations their customers are their actual assets and in the banking domain, there are many risk factors involved. Any kind of fraud can happen with your debit card and credit card. And if the bank itself is not able to detect it as soon as possible, then definitely they will lose their customers. They won't be able to maintain that trust level. And that's why these banking organizations want data professionals like data engineers, data scientists and data analysts to come together and work on these kind of big data solutions which can detect these kind of frauds and they can try to minimize the risk as much as possible. And that's why this sector has employed so many number of data engineers. The highest share, which is 30.8% of data engineers have a work experience of three to six years in data engineering domain. So that's what about the market condition of data engineering profile in India. And now let's talk more about the salary aspect. So by 2022, the median salary offered to data engineers in India is 17 lakhs per annum. And the data engineers in the e-commerce industry command the highest median salary, which is 28.5 lakhs per annum. But what is the reason that data engineers who are working in the e-commerce domain are getting this much of packet? And the reason is very simple, the business logic. So. When we talk about the e-commerce platform, we have a few popular global names like Amazon and Walmart and few Indian companies like Flipkart and Misho. On daily basis, they are selling the products which are of our daily needs. So as a customer on daily basis, we are visiting these platforms, we are purchasing the products and which means there will be a traffic on their platform. More traffic means more data. And that is why the companies which are working in this e-commerce domain, they want to hire data engineers who can work on these kind of ETL pipelines and who can create those kind of scalable pipelines in order to analyze the data, in order to create real time streaming pipelines to capture the user activities. And that is why these companies who are working in this e-commerce domain are paying highest packages to the data engineers as well. So these were some really cool stats about the salary specifically for the data engineers. And now let's talk about the job opportunities which are available in the India by 2022. The total number of open jobs for data engineers as of the last week of May 2022 is 36,457. The e-commerce domain has emerged as the largest job provider among key sectors with a total of 3,796 open jobs, followed by banking sector at 3,728 open job positions for the data engineers. There are more than 10,000 jobs in the market for data engineers who can command a salary of 10 to 15 lakhs per annum. Open jobs for entry level roles commanding salaries around 6 lakhs per annum stand at 4722. I know this fact is really motivating for the freshers because I have been receiving this query from their side that companies are not preferring freshers for the data engineering profile and that was absolutely true five six years back but now you can see that how much data engineering has changed in India in last five six years and that's why these 
numbers or these many job openings are still available in the market so the only thing which is required from the fresher side is to work on their skills you need to focus on the core skill sets of the big data try to work on some really good projects which are around the data engineering so that you can create a strong portfolio and whatever open job opportunities in the market you will definitely get the interview opportunity if you are having the right skill sets more than 2 in 5 jobs which is equivalent to 44.9% are listed for data engineers with 5 to 10 years of working experience so that was about the job opportunities related to the data engineering profile now let's try to focus on some amazing stats related to the key skills so more than 92% data engineers are preferring python language in order to create the data pipelines and this is absolutely true because Python has become the language of data and there are multiple reasons for it. First, Python language is very very easy to understand. Even someone is coming from non programming background, Python language is very easy to understand because of its simple syntax. There is no complexity, you can easily code into it. And the second most important point, Python provides a great great support for amazing data exploration libraries. so any time when you are working on data pipelines and anything related to data analysis you can use these libraries quickly and simply analyze the data and that's why python has become a very very popular language in the big data domain in terms of users of the cloud more than 39% of data engineering professionals can work in azure than in other technologies so nowadays understanding of cloud has been treated as a primary skills for the data engineers because most of the companies are shifting to the cloud and that's how data engineers are supposed to create cloud agnostic data pipelines and in the market we have three big players AWS Azure and GCP although you can start with any of the cloud platform but in the recent years we have seen that Azure is taking over the market although its big competitor is AWS but still azure is coming up with great and great big data related services which helps data engineer to create agnostic cloud based data pipelines and that's why more and more data engineers in the starting phase of their career they are preferring azure as a cloud platform than aws or gcp so sql is the most popular skill set among data engineers with 100% of them being able to work on it So SQL is one of the most most important skill set for all of the data professionals. It's not about the data engineering, it is about the data scientist, data analyst, business analyst, whosoever is in the big data domain, SQL is their main important skill set. And I can tell you this fact in your interviews, especially the data engineering interviews, approximately 35% weightage will be given to the SQL. So if you are not practicing SQL in the right direction and you are just stick to the basic SQL that is not going to help you need to explore the advanced side of the SQL as well so that you can get a good grip on it because it is something which is required to represent the data to query the data even when you will be coding the data pipelines you will be writing the transformation you need to interact with the databases you need to make a connection there and write some logical queries who can pull the data similarly let's say you had a data warehouse and you want to analyze some data you need to query it and for that you need to write a sql so that's why this is the most demanding skill set and most of the data engineering are preferring it to have it as their prime skill set so we have talked about all the interesting facts about the state of data engineering in india and now you can also understand it's important that why data engineering profile is becoming so much popular nowadays if you find this video informative then make sure to hit the like button and still if you have any query related to data engineering profile feel free to put it in the comment section we will answer it in the next video and if you are new to our channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon until next time